welcome back. So today I'm going to do another look lottery. So if you haven't been here for my look lotteries before, I have different ideas, makeup challenges that I found online, Instagram, Pinterest. I put them in here. There's a few I saw around that I thought would be really cool to do and I couldn't pick one so I threw a bunch in here and that's how I've been deciding sometimes. I've done I think three of these now. I think my first one is I think my first one's titled makeup drawing but so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to draw it out, show you what it is, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. Mario Kart character. So I'm going to pick my favorite Mario Kart character and do my makeup based off him. And I think my favorite Mario Kart character is Waluigi. <laughs> so that's who I'm going to do my makeup based off of. So I'm going to go get stuff for that and I'll be right back. Okay, if you've never played Mario Kart, you're really missing out. It's one of my favorite things to play. It changes the, not, the best people into mean people. You know what they say about Uno? It can turn you against your whole family. That's Mario Kart. <laughs> and there's nothing, nothing more aggravating than when you're playing Mario Kart with other people and you look at the wrong screen. It's the worst. I love playing as Waluigi because if you know me, I love a good bad guy. I love the villains, I love the bad guys, always. And I just, I like him a lot, he makes funny noises, he makes funny faces. I don't really know anything about like his backstory within N Nintendo, but I just think he's a pretty cool guy. So that's my favorite Mario Kart character. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids with the Believe Beauty Lock It In eyeshadow primer. So I, I kind of have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna do. Except he has that yellow L, yellow upside down L on his, Hat. I don't know how to incorporate that. Definitely want to come up with something, but I'm not sure what yet. I'm going to set my eyeshadow primer with the Cody Airspun Powder. I originally put this idea in my Look Lottery bowl right after I did my horoscope makeup because I figured I was afraid it was going to be too similar, the looks, because it's purple. So I put it in there and I've been so excited to get it. So I'm going to take the Coastal Sense Creative Me Palette and I'm going to take this purple called Deep Grape. And I'm just gonna throw it all over my lid. I've been so excited to do this one. <laughs> and this purple is one of my favorite purples. Pretty it is. It's just a, such a pretty purple. How, how is that already doing that? Just buffing out any edges. And like most of my most recent videos, we're focusing on this eye because I can't buff this corner out to save my life. Okay, and I think the most signature thing about Waluigi is his hat with that with that yellow backwards L. So I'm gonna try. <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna go. I'm gonna try to put a circle. We're gonna start on this eye because this eye looks bad already. I'm gonna try to do a circle with concealer. Then I'm gonna make the circle white and then I'm gonna try to draw the backwards L on my eyelid. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not confident in my ability to do a perfect circle, so <laughs> we're gonna try something. We're gonna try it here. I'm worried that's kind of too small. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the L on that. Why are my eyelids so small? I'm trying to be careful not to open my eye all the way. It's kind of more of a square than a circle. Well, I might try to fix that in a minute. So I'm gonna go into this um, this ColourPop All That palette into this color right here, it's called Uncuffed, but it's pretty white. So I'm going to put that on there. First off, so I can set the concealer, and also because I need it to be white. So that is the whitest shade I have, and it's pretty white, so that'll do. I'm going to try to, I, am, I know I'm getting white around the circle, I'm going to try to fix that in a minute. I just want to set this concealer. I'm going to try to clean up around it, and also maybe try to make it a little more circle. Right here where I open my eye. <laughs> I'm going to use, because because I think it's the skinniest one I have, I'm going to use the Doll Face Define Line Eyeliner Pen to make the L. Uh, for some reason I'm confused at which way his L is pointing. I'm pretty sure it's pointing towards his left arm. I'm going to try here. And his, and it's, and it's filled in with yellow, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it big enough to fill it in with yellow, so we're going to try. Oh, 
I'm sweating. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, my lid popped off. I need this for my other eye. Okay, and then to fill that in, I'm gonna go back into this Coastal Sense Creative Me palette, into this yellow here, and it's called Bright Yellow. And I'm just gonna fill in the, the L. And I'm gonna try to get it just in there. I don't know if I'll be able That turned out pretty cool, I'm excited. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna turn out that well. <sighs> okay, I worked up a sweat on that, I was getting nervous. So I guess I'm gonna try the other side. Now I know I won't get the circle in the same spot. The L will be completely different. We're gonna give it a shot though. <laughs> The concealer I'm using is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I'm using this one because it's way too light for my skin. So this is just my cut crease concealer. <laughs> okay, let's try to get this in the same spot. That's not that bad. I think I did okay on this one. It might be a little bit better than the other one. Oh no. I opened my eye, I forgot to... <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'll try to fix that in a minute. So for now I'm gonna go back into the all, all that palette into this color here called Uncuffed. It's just a white, so I can pack it on here and set this so that I don't open my eye again and get that concealer all over my eye. I think this one is a little smaller, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna go back into the deep purple color. What is it, deep grape and the Creative Me palette and try to clean up right here where I messed up a little bit. I got a little excited and opened my eye. I really hope I'm doing this the right way, the L's. Almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I thought they were gonna mess me up by honking their horn. Oh. I almost did. Back into Coastal Sense created me into the bright yellow. And I'm just gonna fill in my L. I don't know what's going on over here. I can't get it to lay down. Okay, so I'm gonna take, I have Milani Make It Last setting spray. So I'm gonna try to get a little tiny brush wet and then um, hope it's gonna make that yellow brighter because it's such a small area that I can't really put too much on because it's getting everywhere. So this is actually a paintbrush that I cut for nail art. I've cleaned it so there's not like nail polish on it or anything but I cut it to be super super fine for nail art so I'm gonna see if I can get this to work and spray it with a setting spray and I know I don't ever use setting spray it's because I always forget same with concealer what do you think can you see that better Ooh, looks like it <laughs> I think this look pretty cool oh, I'm really proud of this <laughs> and I'm gonna use a uh, Arcelli felt tip eyeliner pen and this is where I'm gonna to try to incorporate his mustache. So his mustache goes like this and goes straight up. Watch. Why? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I think I'm actually done with my eyes for the most part. I'm gonna go do my face. And there's just a, a couple more things I want to add, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So for my foundation primer, I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And then for my foundation, I use the Koki Skin Perfect Foundation. And then the Halo, e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder to set it all. The last thing I want to do for my eyes is he has, it almost looks like a blue eyeliner all underneath. I don't have a blue eyeliner. So what I'm going to do is just put blue eyeshadow down there. I'm gonna go into the Perfusion Spectrum palette into this blue here. It, it's called Bermuda, because that's what's around his eyes is a light blue. I'm gonna take this Essence Kajal white pencil and do my waterline. And then I'm gonna put some blue eyeshadow over top of that. I'm so excited. I think it's turned out really cool. I'm really excited for my circles with my L's on them. Okay, so I think, besides mascara, I think my eyes are done. For my highlight, since the L's are yellow, I kind of thought about doing like a more of a gold highlight. So I'm going to go to this AOA Studios, I forget what they called it, I'll link it below, but it's a, it's a highlight, oh, the Spectrum highlight, and I'm going to use the yellow that's right there. So what I'll do for that, I'm going to take this brush, It there's purple on it, but it's just stained, 
and I'm going to, because it'll fit perfectly on that yellow, or the gold, and I'm just going to use that for my highlight brush. I don't know if we all see it. This is more of an experiment than anything, I guess. I just want to incorporate more of that yellow. He also wears like a orange, like an orange boot. I kind of thought about incorporating orange somehow, but mm, that's too much. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And then for my blush, I'm not putting blush on my cheeks. I don't know if this is gonna be pink enough. I'm gonna take this Essence Mosaic blush and I'm gonna put it on my nose because he has a pink nose. I'm just gonna take this angled brush and put it on my nose. See what we get here. I might need something more pink. It just looks like I rubbed off my foundation. <laughs> I'm going to go into the Spectrum palette into this pink color here called Rave. Lightly, because I'm, this is going to be dangerous. I'm nervous for this one. That looks more like it. His nose is really pink. I'm going to have to do my eyebrows. For my eyebrows. I'm just going to use this Essence Eyebrow Pen. I love these. I, got, I get them at Meijer. I've gotten two now. I can't find them on their website, like, to tag them, because I try to link everything in, in the description box. I don't know why, like, they don't sell them on their, their website. And I know that Ulta also sells, maybe I'll look at Ulta, like, online at Ulta, and see if they, if they carry them so I can link them in the description box. Because I love these a lot, like, look how easy they are. Fills it in a little bit at the top, just like I need. And that's all I need. And it's easy, 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 easy to work with. They don't have a spoolie, which a lot of people require out of their eyebrow products, but I have plenty laying around, so. I'm gonna use the Dog Face Fast Faux Mascara. I'm so excited. I, I just, I'm really excited for how well that circle turned out. Cause I was afraid it would look really bad and I'd have to take everything off, but it turned out pretty good. And the blue on the bottom looks good. I think that pink nose looks kind of cute. Okay, you guys, I've come to the conclusion. I don't like this. I can't, can't like it. I can't do it. I tried, and I've been trying for a while. This Essence Get Big Lashes is really a good topper. It's not good by itself, I don't think, but on top of other stuff, I think it makes everything look longer, bigger and longer. So the last thing I want to do is my lips. His, he just is nude lips, and I don't have nude lipstick, so what I'm going to try is I have this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, which is not a nude color, but I have this Buxom Full On Lip Cream. It's actually a plumper, I think, but I can't put this on by itself because it is not made to be by itself, I don't think. It's not like a gloss. It's like too sheer. And it's not very pretty, so I'm going to put this on, and I'm going to try to put this over it, see what we get. That is way farther than... A nude than I thought. Look at look at the difference there. Okay, well this is where we're going, I guess. I say I've never worn it. I think I got it from Ipsy. That's really pretty. I wasn't expecting to like it that much. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go with with this box and that smells really good. Not what I was going for, but that's pretty. All right, and that's the look. That was probably my favorite look lottery yet. I was really excited when I put that one in there, and I've been really excited to try it. So I got the yellow the yellow upside down L. I got the lines for his mustache purple for his outfit i didn't really get much black in there for his overalls but i think that's okay i have the blue for under his eyes like he has my nose is pink like his is and oh and my and my gold highlighter to match his l's well guys thank you so much for stopping back by i had so much fun i love doing these look lotteries i don't do them very often because i don't want to wear them out i think it's so much fun if you have any ideas please put them in the description box below and i'll add them definitely add them to my cup I was thinking of something a little bit ago I just added to my cup, so I'm really excited. I add to it all the time. Everything I use, I'll put in the description box below. And thank you guys so much for coming back by. I had a lot of fun today. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!